All right, everybody. As you all know, I'm a Florida man, which means I have sort of a affinity, you know, for any Florida related thing or story that comes up in my uh, in my sight line that I find myself covering here on the stream. And this story in particular really touched me in a, in a you know, it, it, it touched my heart. You know, I don't want you guys making sus jokes about that. <laughs> it, it touched my heart. And this story in particular just, it made me sad, but it also made me feel as though I have a particular responsibility to talk about it as a Floridian, as a Florida man. Now, if you know anything about Florida, you probably know one thing, and that's that we have a large population of massive flesh-eating carnivorous reptiles that just roam the wilds of Florida and number in the tens of millions, if I'm not wrong. I believe there's that many. Uh, that animal is the alligator, the American alligator. We have a whole lot of them, and boy, do they get big, and boy, can they be aggressive. They eat a lot of people's pets, obviously, but there's been a fair few attacks. So stories like this are not all that uncommon in Florida, where you see big-ass gators. I mean, if I saw a gator this big, I would not call the news because it wouldn't be a newsworthy thing. So there's, you'd actually be surprised at how few news stories there are about gators like this because it's so common. Most Floridians just don't give a shit about a story like this. It's only really popular outside of Florida. But here's a good look at a, the kind of thing that's just very common in my home state. Reptile everyone is talking about on Facebook tonight. Take a look at this guy, an alligator probably bigger than you've ever seen crossing a trail in a Polk County Park. Yeah, it really is an unbelievable sight, isn't it? ABC Action News reporter Ryan Race cut off with the brave hikers who captured this big guy in action and explains the backstory of this monster gator. It's people the expect video that lit up people expect gators this big to only be in the Everglades. The internet today, an alligator nearly as long as an SUV, sauntering from one marsh to another and stunning onlookers nearby. It was just awe-inspiring. Christy Buckley was just wrapping up a morning. It's a big boy. That is a thick ab boy. Hike with her husband Sean when the gator started to move. That's them right there, lying on the ground. They won't come up to you if you're with a ton of people, right? Ha! Huh. Like they won't attack? Ha! Huh. No. Um, they'll attack if they damn well please. N no, being in a group of people won't stop them. Uh, that's not how alligators think. Uh, it's really just a matter of, holy shit, stay the fuck away from them. You do, you do not want to be near a gator. You just don't want to go near them when they are wild. They're unpredictable. They eat people. They're more dangerous than sharks. I would rather be in the water with a great white than be in the like in the water with this thing. Capturing these still pictures. Oh yeah, and this thing can run 25 miles an hour. Yeah, they they can like full on jump sprint. I'm not even joking. There's from the other like they Minecraft jump sprint at you. Angle. And yes, he's just as big from that side too. So my husband and I are calling him Godzilla because that's kind of what he looked like going across the path. Yeah. Crossing so slowly, his feet flopping with every step, and that tail dread. This is not how they move when they want to go quickly. They they run like a dog. Like when you see a dog really running, where they run like two legs at a time, like front back, front back, front. They hit that. They can do that, and they get air time, and they go fast. The problem is they're not very good at like turning. So if you hit like a curve as you run away, they're far less effective. Um, but you don't want to zigzag. Zigzagging is a complete myth. Do not zigzag to get away from a gator. Run at an angle. Like don't run in a straight line. Run at like a slight, like, well, run in a straight line, but not straight away from the gator. Run like at a curved side or something like that. The more you, yeah, the more you make it have to turn, the better, but you don't want to zigzag. That's not smart. It's hard to explain. You want to do more of like a big, like a uh, snake pattern, but much larger than you're imagining. Like run like a parking lot's width to make a C. You have to pit maneuver them. 
Don't gators hate human meat? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They'll they'll try you. They'll try you. They'll still eat you. Anyway, gators, though, are considered to be much like dogs. I even see many people call them swamp puppies, which is why this story really hit home with me. Because believe it or not, domesticated gators, for as domesticated as a gator can get, are actually not unheard of. People have gators that sleep in their beds with them for decades and nothing bad ever happens, who, like, sleep with their dogs and their cats and nothing bad ever happens. And um, this is the story of a guy who had a gator in a situation much like that. And let's just say this is the biggest ACAB moment I think we've ever seen. There is some controversy brewing over an alligator seized from a home in Hamburg. Yeah, the man who owned it as a pet has had the reptile as a companion now for more than three decades. Not a Florida and tonight, man. we're getting our first look inside the man's home, complete with a special indoor pool. This dude had it set up for this gator to live a happy life. This gator is pampered. Look how, like, like chubby the gator is, too. It's like... It's all, it's just a little chubby guy. He's just chilling. This man took care of that gator, yeah. Fat gators are happy gators. Cool for the alligator. It's a habitat, as you see, that rivals something that you might see in a zoo. There's even a petition circulating on change.org tonight to have Albert the alligator return to his home. More than 20,000 people have already signed it. Our Michael Schwartz giving a voice to its owner today who wants to be reunited with his 11 foot. So you got to understand, based on what I've seen, um, the guy had this gator for decades, completely legally. In his state, it was allowed. He was licensed to have the gator. But then in the last four years, the laws changed. And they didn't grandfather him or his gator into this new set of laws. And for essentially no reason, um, like very arbitrary reasons, like it was very clear they just wanted to get rid of him having a gator, like stop that from happening. Um, and, and claiming a supposedly bogus medical problems with the gator. From what we have heard, there are, as the owner claims, no problems with the gator. Um, and yet the state claimed that there were medical problems with it as a reason to claim that he was a neglectful owner of his gator. Based on what we're seeing here, this doesn't look like something that a neglectful gator owner would have, you know, like even the water there I can see is clean and that like I've, I've had a pool before. I know how much work it is to keep a pool clean. Keeping that thing clean, a thing a gator shits in, must be very fucking difficult. This guy doesn't look like he's neglectful of the gator. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite. It, 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 I I don't believe the 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 tale that has been spun that this guy wasn't taking care of the gator. Um, however, I understand people who see this stuff and they think, okay, so yeah, this gator should probably go to a wildlife preserve, right? I've seen a couple comments like that already in the chat, but even if you think that's the case. This guy had the gator for decades. Oh, on top of that, there were there were cases where like kids would take pictures of the gator in the pool. And you can say it's like a danger thing, but he's done that for like years and years and nothing bad ever happened. But they also use that as a reason to take his gator away. I feel like that's worth mentioning. But like kids would get in the pool and take a picture with the gator and the gator would just kind of float there like a log. Um and you can say that's like horribly dangerous, but there are literally zoos that do that in Florida. Like you, you can say that's like this horrible evil thing, but the guys raised the gator for deck. I just closed out the video, son of a bitch. I, I, I hit X instead of the plus because they're so close to each other. The close tab and open new tab. Ugh. Oh my god, it's such a pain in the ass to find stuff, too. But Thankfully, it wasn't too hard here. Um, no, undo won't do anything. Uh, okay, so... Do, 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 do. Fuck, what was I searching before I closed that tab and had to refind it? I was gonna look something up. Oh, yes, I know now.
So you can say it's like grounds to ha for that guy to have his gator taken away, but this is like an actual licensed zoo in Florida where they offer that same thing, except you spend like half an hour in the water swimming around with a full-grown alligator that's a rescue from the wild, not even raised from like the egg to this point by like a human with decades of trust built up. This is a rescue gator you're going to see here. Literally a rescue gator. And they offer this service where kids can get in the water and swim with the gator. Hey Here's guys, hanging out in the video. pond after one of my well, underwater gator well, tours. Hanging out in here with Casper, we got him sitting right here with me. Come here buddy, get on camera. There we go. So we got him hanging out right there with us. So one of the common questions, uh, I've covered a lot, but we'll go ahead and cover it again. Is that, you know, where did he come from? Where do all the gators I come from, or where do all the gators I work with come from? Why are they here? So these guys are all what are called uh, wild caught nuisance alligators. Okay, so a nuisance gator is one that shows up in a backyard, a swimming pool, ate fluffy, stuff like that, right? Now, once he's somebody's dog, they're going to send out a trapper that will typically capture and kill the offending alligator, which is really sad, you know, not, not a good thing. To give me an idea of how often this happens, the state gets about 14,000 nuisance alligator calls per year in the state of Florida. Divide that by 365, you get an average of 40 human alligator problems per day in this state alone. Now, they only catch about half because they're hard to catch, which means that the state actually kills... They only catch half. ...about seven to 8,000 nuisance gators a year, which is obviously very sad. We don't want that. That's why it's so important not to be a nuisance person. By that, I mean, uh, basically the big ones are people feeding them. Don't Once feed you feed gators. them, they learn to associate you with food. You don't have food, you are the food. That's really bad. They will go where humans are once humans have fed them. Uh, don't ever feed them. Also, feeding them is uh, what can create the alligator being killed, not just people. Because once they're fed and they show that behavior, the animal's going to be labeled a nuisance. He's going to be shot and killed for it. So don't ever feed them. You're not doing them a favor. You're literally killing them. So don't do that. Um, yeah. So... I feel it's worth pointing out that video exists and that channel exists because, yeah, there are zoos that do tours where you get in the water with the gators and you swim with them. And they're literally, like, rescued nuisance gators that, like, ate someone's dog or something. This is a gator raised from when it was a baby by a human for decades, this guy's pet, and the police took it away. Now, imagine for a moment. You're sitting at home one day. They came unexpectedly, by the way, when they took it. Imagine you're sitting at home one day, and all of a sudden the police come and knock at your door, and they come in with, like, a tarp and one of those, like, loop things on a stick, and they put that over your dog's neck, r wrangle your dog into the tarp, bag the dog up, which is what they did to the gator, by the way, and then they haul it off into a truck and take it away and say you will never be able to see it again, and they don't even allow you to say goodbye. That is what they did to him, except it was his alligator. Or imagine it was your cat they did it to. And that'll give you a semblance of an idea of what this guy is going through. Even foot, 750 pound friend. I will share the petition uh, in the chat and hopefully, is... hopefully my editor will remember uh, to put it in the description of this uh, video when it goes out on YouTube. Albert the alligator, an 11 foot, 34 year old gator weighing more than 800 pounds. Year old gator. I'm Albert's dad, that's all there is to it. He's, my, he's like family to everybody. Tony Cavallaro got Albert at an Ohio reptile show in 1990. He was two months old when I got him, he was captive born. He don't know nothing but people his whole life. This is Albert's room, which Tony built, an extension on his home just for his gator, who was taken from here on Wednesday. My yard swarmed with DEC cars are up the road. On Wednesday morning, the DEC seized the gator with the help of police and the SPCA, citing Albert was illegally kept without a permit. They wouldn't let me out here. To... The thing is, he kept the gator for decades legally with a permit. The rules were changed and he was not able to uh, qualify for the new rules. Basically, imagine you've had a pet for decades and all of a sudden the laws change and the police are coming to take your pet away. See, I'm taking him out of here. And then they loaded Albert into the back of the, um, the cargo van and just laid him in there. Laura Lautner lives next door. It's just, it was really upsetting how it was handled. This is the permit is Tony has for Albert. It expired in September of 2021. 
He tells me he tried getting it renewed by the DEC. They would not answer me, so this is on them. The DEC says Albert was blind in both eyes and had spinal issues. Tony says none of that is true. As far as claims that children swam with Albert, Tony says kids have posed for pictures in the pool, but it wasn't often. And they got right out and they washed, we washed, dragged them off or whatever. But many people are fans of Tony and Albert to. Yeah, I feel like the Albert was probably put down. Yeah, by now Albert was probably put down. They probably take the guy's gator and put it down. Um, it's probably already too late. I hope to God it's not. But things tend to move pretty quickly when it comes to these things. They Albert was probably put down the same day they took him away. Um, there was probably zero hope of getting Albert back in the first place. He should sue the state. I mean, yeah, he uh, he should. Will he win? I, I want him to, but my my uh, I don't I don't think chances are high. I wouldn't bet I wouldn't bet a lot of money that he would win, or get a large settlement. Within one week for dangerous pets, yeah. And it's already been a week, so it's probably already too late. Sadly. Together, thousands have rallied on social media blasting the DEC for seizing the 34-year-old gator, some even making shirts to take Albert back. He's not having alligator get-togethers or parties, and he's just a neighbor, and he's a really nice guy, and he loves that alligator and treats it really, really well. The drumsticks. Are... The DEC says the gator is now in the care of a licensed caretaker. A spoke. Oh, okay. Hey, at least Albert is supposedly alive. And is being t held by a caretaker. That's good. However, you took his dog. You took his swamp dog. They took his swamp dog. They took his dog, dude. They took his dog. What the fuck, man? You can't take a man's dog. Spokesperson tells me even if Cavallero did still have a license for Albert, any public contact with the reptile would be prohibited. Oops, Michael Schwartz, 7 News Hamburg. There is some controversy. He's not even allowed to, like, contact the, the reptile, quote-unquote, again. Like, it almost... It actually feels like they went out of their way to do this in the most cruel way possible. And it comes off as genuinely vindictive, not as just, like, cold bureaucratic like i'm sorry man these are the rules it comes off more like they did this gleefully in the most psychologically harmful way they could to him and probably the most traumatic way they could for the gator as well whoever called for that as a cunt i mean it was just the laws changing the uh the local wildlife uh agencies change their rules on the type of uh qualifications you have to meet to get a permit for that so yeah this is literally just a a big ass a cab moment they took his swamp puppy like they, they took his dog what the fuck they took his dog 